Let us now summarize where we are overall in looking at argument analysis. And remember, argument analysis involves reconstructing the argument, which is identifying the premises and conclusion, and maybe I should have said it the other way, because we always first try to figure out what the conclusion is, and then figure out what the premises are, because they're the reasons. And writing the argument in standard form, and we do this because it helps us determine the rational strength of the argument. We write it in the standard form, premises and conclusion, because then we're going to apply, <coughs> excuse me, the rational strength, the criteria of rational strength that we just developed, which is that the rational strength of an argument is a function of, is made of, of two parts. One, the logic, the connection between the premises and the conclusion. And secondly, the evidence, the rational strength of the premises. And in order to have an argument, uh, excuse me, a good argument, which we said is a sound argument, we need to have both logic and evidence.